it's that time again let's have a look and see what is in the February 2019 scroller box <laughs> So, let's see what we've got here. What is this, first of all? We have the artwork. Serena Arena. I think that's how it's pronounced. Yep. Pretty good. Like it. Like it. We have a piece of Pretty. Oh no, my bad. I was going to say that's pretty thick paper, but nope, it's two sheets. So two small sheets of paper. Let's see what we've got in here. Let's get to the good stuff. Right. Ooh, haven't seen one of them before. Right. Hmm. Nope, you don't get to see that till later. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. St. Cuthbert's Mill Botanical Ultra Smooth Paper. That's what that was. Sticker. Another sticker of a feather this time. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jesus. The old uh, rubber to stick in the end of the pencil type of thing. Haven't seen one of them in a bit. 20 years <laughs> didn't even think they still made them to be quite honest uh, sweet as well put that aside Pfft. wow blast from the past right there right okay what is this thing this thing is not there hang on wait a minute so what is this thing? Hmm, okay. Leave that to the end. Because I don't see it on the list. Unless that's the aqua tint. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just being an idiot. It's the last one. This is Spectrum Noir Aqua Tint. Filled with bright water-soluble dye-based ink. Blah, blah, blah. Fine nylon brush. Blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, yep, yeah. seen one of these before, I'll tell a lie, I had, I think it was a silver one, somewhere. He says, looking around to see if he can quickly find it, but nope. Yep, yeah. you've got to take off this ring to make it actually close and become usable. Right, okay, got that. This thing, Brush Marker Pro. We have, oh hang on, there's another one, and another one, three brush marker pro, four, tell a lie, I am also a blind idiot. Brush marker pro use their, quote, liquid ink technology to maintain the intensity and control of your colour until the very last drop. Uh, super durable and flexible nylon tip, blah blah blah. Dye base colour, blah blah blah. Colours can be mixed directly by contacting the ends of the markers. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like the uh what's their facers? Um is it the chameleon pens? Uh blah, 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 blah. Test how far a small amount of colour can stretch when you add water. Okay, it's an idea. So, let's have a look at these things. Brush Marker Pro, calligraphy, graphic design, illustration. And it's got a little bit on the side. Show you how much ink is in it. Tip wise. Ooh, holy moly. It's a beast of a thing. Uh, Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, quite liking that. The tip's not dead flexible and soft and squishy, so that's good. I'm liking that. Right, what are these two? Karan Dash, or whatever their name is. Fibralo Fiber Pens. Fiber tipped colouring pen. Prove out with water to create surprising effects. Water based ink will not bleed through paper. We will see. And can be washed out of most modern fabrics. Oh, what? Oh, the bright transparent colours will not dry out for days with the cap left off. I thought I was saying it would take days to dry. I was like, holy Jesus. Uh, okay, these look like kind of, they kind of look like cheap school inky markers. Yeah, they kind of act like cheap school inky markers. But, I'm sure they are really good, honest. We will soon see. Pencil. Edelweiss. Or Edelweiss. Again, Crandash. Swiss made. HB. But the blab says, uh, yeah, same. Blah blah blah. Graphite pencil, superior quality lead. Blah blah blah. Something about cedar wood barrels. Yes. This one. Artline drawing system. Zero point three. Pigment ink, water based, water resistant, acid free. This little fell. A precision manufactured drawing pen with a low friction nib held in a steel frame. Makes it sound like it should be in a building site. It's just a bog standard nib. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Big fancy words. Blah blah blah. Strong metal pocket clip. Yay. Right. So. All of these, including the escapee, all of these have to be used on those bits of paper. And it has to be something to do with plumage. Hmm. We're going to have to think about this one. Hey, look at me. I'm from 1980. Woohoo! Right, let's try some of these suckers. Uh, okay. Pencil, as ever, is going to be shock horror. It's a pencil. Right, for that, what I will do is try the two cheapy looking school inky markers. Not surprisingly, they perform as expected. But, as I say, they do look incredibly cheap and tacky looking. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, go for this sucker. Now, surprise, surprise, I've already took the ring off and started this. It is, in fact, yellow. I thought it was going to be blue, but no. Hmm. Okay. It's a very transparent yellow. Hmm. Give it a squeeze. This is where it's going to come flooding out. I just know it. No, no. Okay, so far so good. Hmm. Nah, not impressed. Still seems very dry. Very, very, very watery yellow. Hmm. Okay. That one might be a bit iffy, but I'll come back to it. I'll try it again. Give it another try. Right, these uh, 
brush marker pro things. Um, I'll just do this sort of thing because one of them is clear, it seems. This blender one. So, put that aside for the moment. Ah, try and get the lid off. Right. Very wet. Good God, can't even get the lid off. Ah. Wait a minute. I thought it was going to be yellow. Hang on. Fair enough. Purple. Right. I have green, yellowy, orangey, and purple. Right. Right, let's try the clear one though. Ooh. Okay, liking that. Um, clean it off. It does seem to smear the black pen very slightly. But yeah, looks good. I assume we can blend together. It, only thing is it does kind of you, you kind of rub it just a little bit and it works. But if you rub it a bit too much, as I've done, it kind of damages the paper. Now, will it blend? Yeah, it does blend the ink pen a bit. Hmm, that's something to watch for. Pencil? Or blend the pencil? Um, <clears throat> seems to erase the pencil. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, scientific test time. Let's make another bit of pencil. And ink marker, or liner marker, I should say. Well, I'll wait for that to dry. I'm going to try this thing again. See if it's going to do anything. Not really. Okay. I'm going to squish it a lot. I'm going to squish it a lot over the top of a bin so it doesn't go all over me. Yeah, it's dripping everywhere. Right, okay. It's definitely wet this time. Still very transparent though, but it is a bit better now. Had to give it a good squish. Right, back to the experiment in hand. Will the blending marker uh, still do something to this pencil? Yes. It blends the pencil. It will, in fact, blend the pencil to almost nothing. If I go very lightly. So when I go very, very lightly, it will pretty much erase the pencil. Hmm. Right, ink pen. Hmm, it does move it a bit. Hmm, oh well. Anyway, that's the end of the science experiments. Now, I have to think of something to draw to do with plumage. Hmm. Oh, but wait, there's more. 
Did they actually come through the paper though? Dun dun dun! They did not come through the paper. That's actually pretty good. Right, I'm going to go for it. Uh, let's see. Right. Um, can do that. Um, I say it's got to be some sort of bird. Trying to not make it look like a pigeon. Because everything I see here is pigeons. Mm, nah. Nah. Googly eye thing's not going to work. Because I think I will... Do the old... Uh, my favourite of... Making an animal look silly by... Having it doing... People things. Um, let's see. Uh, go that way. Yeah. Didn't actually say that it has to be a recognisable bird though, so you know, I'm going with that. Um let's see if it goes that way, that way, and then make it do that. Oops, don't want to draw it at the bottom of the screen. If I say the body goes to there, His uh, wee cup of tea just balanced in the wee branch there. Uh, let's see. I've got green, yellow, purple. I've got blue. Hmm. Okay. That'll do for a little sketch, I think. Although, hmm. What I'm thinking is I could do some outlines with this pen. Then I could do some outlines with the blue, cheapy looking marker. Hmm. I haven't done that before. Oh, that's a maybes. What I'm thinking is, if I do these kind of bits with this pen, outline the bird itself with a blue marker, uh, if I do its legs with this, this could go horribly, horribly wrong, but I think 
I will give it a bash and see what happens. Right, okay. This is where it could go badly, badly, badly bad. Right. Oh, the lid keeps falling off. Told you, told you they were cheaping Arkells. Right. Okay, doesn't look too bad so far. Now, for Three in the background bit here. I'm just going to go with the blue as well. The branch, on the other hand, um, 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 I think. I think I'll go back to the the original marker. Right, this time to colour it. Alright, so I still have the Brush Marker Pro and these two yellows to use. So I think I'll use the Cheapy Pen Yellow. I think I'll just use that for these, for this bit. Let's see if the blender will blend the cheapy yellow marker. Hmm, I bet. So pretty much the blender will pretty much blend anything, that's what we're saying. Hmm, oh, can mix that. Oh, I see. Oh yes, here we go. Right, so I could mix some of that blue into the yellow to get some green. Ha! Ah. What was it Bob Ross said about accidents again? Um, okay, let's see, you have got... What about this? Jesus, can't get the lid off these things. Um, can we put a bit of that in now? I 
Fair enough. We will give him a little orangey yellow mug. Obviously, leaves will be green. I will use the big previously not working marker. I will use that on his beak, I think. Formerly the driest marker in the world is now the absolute wettest marker in the world. Now, um, I think I will do Oh, cheapy markers blending in there a bit. to come up with some sort of ingenious plan for this branch because I don't have any sort of brown so um hmm let's see um oh that is the pen on a plastic palette because I'm going to try Gonna try a bit of yellow and a bit of purple. Let me get that closer. Wait a minute. I know. I know. I know. Let's do it this way. If I take a bit of in fact no, green. Tell a lie, green. Now, I have, I have a water brush, but I don't actually have any water in it, so I'm just going to have to try and dip it in water. Oh no, I can't, because it's full of ink. Possibly scratch that idea. Okay, it's, it's a bit dirty, inky, this pen, but it's as good as it gets, trust me. Right. Bit of green, bit of purple. Gets me this weird looking colour. Okay, it's not the greatest, but I'll take it. I'm not sure if me using an additional tool breaks the rules. Ta da There we go. Need to remember to clean that pen. Uh, right. Let's see. I have a yellow. Let's go green, then purple.
fact I'm going to continue the purple up a bit because I think the legs will need to be yellow. Back to green. This time I think we'll go yellow to purple. see I think you should have yellow at the end so I'll put a bit of green in here for a bit of cheapy yellow in the end right so the only other one I haven't used is the blender which I can use down here and remember to go very lightly otherwise I'll destroy the paper Oops, rubbing a bit too hard there. Very lightly, that is the key. Right, uh, let's see, go for some cheapy blue marker here, just to do a bit of colour in the newspaper. And a bit of cheapy yellow. Right, I think that is it. One very odd, crazy looking bird, which is for the February Scrawler Box for plumage, because he has plumage. <laughs>